oral pathology and oral medicine carry 10% weightage in your INICET examination. And it's not just 10%. In a paper where every single mark counts, 10% can push you from an average rank to your dream branch. Yes, it's vast. Yes, it's tricky. But that's exactly why most students lose out marks here and exactly why you won't. Because after this video, you will know exactly where to hit to make every mark count. Hello students, I'm Dr. Sahil Dingra from Team Meritors. I was on India rank 1 in November INICT 2021. And today I will be telling you all the strategy that I followed for oral pathology and medicine subject for my INICT preparation. What is the first step? The first step is to know the syllabus and the weightage for oral pathology. Now there are a total of 18 chapters in your Meritors app if you open the question bank for oral pathology and medicine. The weightage for the Oral pathology subject in your INICT is around 18 to 20 questions, which is almost 10% of your total 200 questions. And in even in the NEED MDS, it has a very high weightage. Almost 30 to 40 questions alone are asked from a combination of oral pathology and oral medicine. And you have to study both oral pathology and oral medicine together because they are synced, synced in a way that most of the topics are exactly the same. So when you see if when we see the BDS, we divide it into third year and final year where we study oral medicine in final year, but oral pathology in third year. But when you start preparing for your need MDS or your INICT, you have to club oral pathology and oral medicine together and radiology you have to study separately from the oral medicine. So as we can see, it is very, very important for your both your INICT as well as for your need MDS because it is almost 20 questions in INICT and around 40 questions at times in your NEET MDS. So now I'll tell you what all to study for your INICT as well as your NEET MDS. Now the step two is how to revise. So what I used to follow during my preparation time was I used to divide the oral pathology subject into five subcategories. Why five categories is because it is a very vast syllabus and if you try to cover all the things together, there is a chance that you will not be able to memorize what was there in which chapter. So around 18 chapters, first category is your developmental diseases, the developmental disturbances and your cysts and tumors. This is the most bulkiest portion, the initial four chapters. This includes your developmental disturbances, your odontogenic cysts and the odontogenic tumors. Along with this, you have your benign and malignant tumors of the oral cavity. In this and at last the salivary gland disorders. So these four chapters come under this first category that is your developmental disorders, cysts and tumors. So when you are starting with your revision, first one or two days as it is, these chapters are very, very vast, especially the chapter on your developmental disturbances and your benign and malignant tumor. So this is the most vast portion of your oral pathology syllabus. And if you are doing these four chapters also, you will cover mostly 30 to 40 percent of your syllabus will be covered in these four major chunk. Then the category two is your system disorders. Now in the system disorders, you have three chapters. First is bone and joint diseases, which will include your fibrous dysplasia, pagets and all. Second is your nerves and muscles. And the last one is skin and the vesiculobulous lesions, the lichen planus, pemphigus, etc. So these two categories are your most important. The category one and two, these are the most important part of your oral pathology syllabus. Then other than this, in category three, we have our infections. In the infections, you will have things like bacterial, viral and your mycotic infections. So these are three different chapters 
out of the 18, the bacterial infection, viral and the mycotic. Other than this, this will also include your chapter on dental caries and pulp and periapical infections. These are all your infections of the oral cavity. Then category four is your pigmentations. All the oral pigmentation. So again, this includes four to five chapters. Chapters like your metabolic diseases, the oral aspect of metabolic diseases. Then your tongue disorders. Then there is a separate chapter itself on pigmentation. Along with this, it also includes your physical and chemical injuries, the aspirin burn and all. So these are your four broad categories and the fifth category is your extra cover and the miscellaneous. The extra cover includes your past repeats. So again, it is a very important aspect. So when you divide into these five categories, now what you will do is what are the three most important categories? The category one, two and five. These are the most important. So let's say when you are preparing for INICET, so you will give around roughly, since it is a very broad subject, you have to give around seven to eight days to oral paths. Out of these seven to eight days, five to six days, the majority should go for your one, two and five. That is your category one, two and five. And the remaining two days, you can easily finish the infections and the pigmentation part because they are all interrelated. If you study it in this manner, the chances are that you will for not forget things because you have you you will have the ability to correlate similar things. For example, when you see the diseases in bone joints, nerve muscle, you can all you can always do a comparative analysis of such disorders. Similarly, for the developmental disturbances, if you study everything together and the cyst and tumor, then you can study it. You, you can do a comparative analysis and you can study it in a way where you will remember, OK, this feature was there in pleomorphic adenoma. This feature was there in Worthy's tumor. So that is the ideal method how to read oral path in a tabular format using flowcharts tables and comparing one disease or one syndrome with the other. The step three is your past year papers. Again, minimum last 10 years paper you must do. So around 20 papers. Which will give you roughly 400 questions. As every year they are asking around 20, 22 questions. Then the special question set in your tasks in the NICT power pack where you will deal with the image based and the special question set including your previous year SR papers and any recent article or journals along with the recent advances. Next is revision and practice. Now this is a very theoretical subject, so you have to give at least three to four revisions. And the bonus tip here is for oral paths, you have to read in tabular format. So when you read in a tabular format, you will know that this feature is there in this particular syndrome, but absent in the other syndrome. Similarly, you have to focus more on the flow charts for pathogenesis and things like that. And then you have to compare and analyze the various diseases and syndromes. Only then you can remember for like for a very long time, you will be able to remember only if you compare and analyze. Otherwise, it is very difficult to memorize such facts that which syndrome is having what all features only when you compare and read only then you can remember. So in short, the goal is to focus on the category one that is your developmental disorders, then your bone and joint neuromuscular and the skin disorders followed by your extra cover. And at last you can go for the infections and the pigmentations. With this, we come to the end of this video. Hope you found it helpful and do follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more such videos. And if you have not yet downloaded the Meritors app, you can download it from the Play Store or the App Store. Thank you and have a nice day.